Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can install Ubuntu on your VirtualBox, VMware or on your normal desktop. So first thing you need to do, you need to download Ubuntu. Go to ubuntu.com and just click downloads and just click on desktop. So this page will open and then you just need to download the version. Which one do you want? You want 14.04 or you want 15? So you then you select the 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your system and then after it's downloaded I have already downloaded it so you just open VirtualBox you just click on new and then you just select Linux and Ubuntu 64-bit Then here you can use the name like I already have Ubuntu so I'm going to use try Ubuntu and then just click on continue then you need to select the amount of RAM you need to provide on your virtual machine so I'll just give it 1 GB of RAM and click continue then you need to select the hard drive so like your computer has a hard drive so you just need to select a virtual hard drive so just click on create and then you leave it to VDI format and just click continue then you need to select fixed size or dynamic allocated in fixed size you just predefine the size like 8 GB or 10 GB and it won't increase beyond that but in dynamically allocated one you can increase the size if you have more programs on your boot so I'm just going to select fixed size and just name it try Ubuntu HDD and I'm going to give it 8 GB and I'm going to put it in on my desktop save as try Ubuntu HDD so I'm just going to click on save and click on create So as you can see it's creating the virtual hard drive and here is it so it's just allocating 8 GB to this hard drive so now I'm just going to wait for it to finish So now my try Ubuntu is created. So now I just need to power it on. So now it's going to ask me for the Ubuntu drive Ubuntu image which I downloaded from the Ubuntu.com. So now I'm just going to browse it. So I already have it downloaded in my applications folder, and you can see it's over here so I'm just going to click on open and then click on start
so now you just need to click on install Ubuntu and then if you have it if you want to connect it to a power source you can and if you connect it to the internet it will download all the updates right now so I have just turned on off my Wi-Fi so if you need the third-party software you can just check this box otherwise I don't need it so I'm just click on continue and then you just need to select erase disk and install Ubuntu so if you are doing it on your desktop as a dual boot so you don't need to select it otherwise it will format your hard drive so then just click on install now and continue and so now you can select the location so I'm just going to write New Delhi and then just click continue now you can select your keyboard whichever you want I'll go with the English US next you need to name your system so oh sorry yourself so I'm just going to write DSB and computer name will be DSB virtual box username will be this and password it doesn't allow you to leave it blank so I just will write DSB and it's showing short so I'll just write DSB techies and I'm just going to select login automatically if you want you can click require my password to login so it will ask you for your password every time you log in so now the installation is starting as you can see so it's going to take a few minutes I guess but if you connect it to the internet it will take at least 20 to 30 minutes depending on your internet speed
So now it's asking for a restart, so I'll just restart the system. <coughs> So it's now asking for an enter key, so I'm just going to press enter. So as you can see Ubuntu has started and finally the installation has completed. So as you might notice that the Ubuntu is coming in a small window like this even if you maximize the size of the window it won't cover the whole screen. So you need to install the guest edition so I just have already made a video on that so I'll just post the link down in the description to make Ubuntu full screen so you can do it from there. So any questions please post them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys and do hit the like button.